好，第十條啦，係非常之生活化嘅題目，要我哋解釋一下，當一個人吞嘢嘅時候呢，係唔能夠同一時間講嘢嘅。條題目呢，考我哋兩個 concept， 第一個呢，就係會厭軟骨嘅功能啦，就係、是、當我哋吞嘢嘅時候呢，就會遮蓋住氣管嘅開端，咁啊避免啲嘢食呢跌咗落氣管，搞到我哋俗親嘅。而第二個 concept 呢，就係我哋點樣講嘢，點樣發聲呢？就係、是、個 mechanism of making sound， 原因喺我哋嘅喉嚨嗰處呢，就有一個彈性嘅薄膜，就係、是、個聲帶。而當空氣穿過呢個聲帶嘅時候呢，佢就會震盪而產生聲音啦。咁而家啦，睇返題目呢，我特別想講嘅就第二句先。佢話吞嘢呢就反射動作，而講嘢呢就係隨意動作，其實都係不着邊際捉錯用神嘅。重點就係當我哋吞嘢嘅時候，其實個會厭軟骨就會遮蓋住嗰個氣管嘅開端，而當遮蓋咗氣管開端。嘅时候，亦都唔会有空气穿过咗我哋个 focal cord， 从而咧可以产生声音。所以答案咧就系一同三啦。Question ten is about a biological phenomenon. We need to explain why a person cannot swallow food and talk at the same time. In this question, we are checking the concept, including the function of epiglottis. Epiglottis can cover the opening of nares to stop food from entering the Trachea, it can prevent us from choking. So you can see that the epiglottis will cover the opening of trachea when we are swallowing. And the second concept is about the mechanism of making sound or we speak. In the nares, there are elastic membrane called focal cord. When air passing through the nares causes the focal cord to vibrate, sound is produced. So let's take a look at the answer. I would like to talk about option two first. Swallowing is a reflex action, while speaking is a voluntary action. Although this statement is correct itself, is irrelevant to this phenomenon because why we cannot swallow and talk at the same time. That means speak or making sound. It's because the epiglottis will cover the opening of the trachea or the nares during swallowing. So that's why there will be no air can pass through the nares and pass through the focal cord to produce sound. Therefore, the answer is B.